Hi. Um, the video you're about to see is um, one that I've uh, just, I took my flip phone and I just turned it on in little places that I was uh, visiting here in Israel. And I'm holding it myself right now, so I'm not sure how the quality of the cinematography will be. But just want to introduce you to um, part of my life that I went through in the last month taking care of my new grandchild and visiting my two-year-old grandson. So this will be concluding my entire stay for the month here in beautiful Israel. And then you can see in the background how gorgeous. I've got an Arabic village behind me. And um, it's really windy here. So I hope the, the quality, you'll be able to hear me correctly. Uh, what else do I want to say? Well, if you can't recognize me, I'm just take this off. I just wear this just to keep... Um, in the conservative mode of where my daughter lives because she lives in a very, very orthodox religious settlement. And it's really bright out here. So that's why I'm wearing my glasses. Now I understand why sheiks wear glasses because in the desert it's so sunny and I'm very photosensitive. So I'm going to put them back on. And I have my spoon and a little sack so I can um, bring some Holy Land Earth back for some people who've requested it. And if you'd like some, just uh, contact me and I can forward it to you somehow. But anyway, this will uh, be the little intro to all the little snippets you'll see of the life that I had here for a month. And I um, hope you enjoy it. Anyway, and here's the view. This is the street my daughter lives on and this is a typical uh, settlement in the, um, kind of like I guess it would be called the West Bank. And this is her street and you see lots of strollers and cars and people just leave their bikes out. Everybody trusts everyone else. Just want to show you what the buildings look like in a typical settlement in Israel, in the West Bank. And um, here's the bus stop I'm at. I'm on my way to the uh, Kotel, which is the Western Wall in Jerusalem. And it's nice and early. And I'm going to go meet my friend Sherry. And have a beautiful day, and I'll take pictures there and share them with you. Okay, here we have... A Arabic, an Arabic village overlooking my daughter's balcony to, um, towards Jerusalem because we're actually in the West Bank right now and I'm panning over and that's actually a quarry and they're digging for many years now and they take the earth and make it into cement and I'm panning uh, eastward this is towards Jordan and this is the, uh, the uh, Judean Samarian desert that I kept talking about and here we go with more Arabic villages nestled between um, some mountain ranges. And I'm panning northward. Uh, this is towards Lebanon. And uh, this is the full panoramic view of my daughter's balcony in the Judean Desert in a city called Tel Zion. It's a settlement in the West Bank. Very, very religious. Again, there's the quarry. And I'm going back, and if you could see against the skyline, so it's completely surrounded by Arabic villages. And I don't know what's going down there, but there seems to be some kind of... Uh, they burn the trash outside. And um, if you look down, there's some trenches, which um, are supposed to thwart the uh, any kind of terrorist attack. There's a big trench right there. And I can't pan in. And that's it. And today, there's a hamsin, which means 50, sh 50 in Arabic, but it also means when there's a kind of a quasi-sandstorm, and that's why you can't see so far off into the distance because the sand is all in the air. And uh, it's kind of like a Santa Ana wind from the kind in California. But this one is in the desert. And everybody closes their doors so they don't get all sanded on. And that's it. Until next time. Bye. Okay, here we are on a bus. Check out the people. All different kinds. And there are a whole bunch of strollers just right in front of my feet on the ground. Kids sitting, waiting, all different sorts. Okay, just wanted to show you that. Signing off. Okay, we're on the bus in the, um, in the Judea and Samaria Desert. And I, that's why it's so rocky to be holding it.
Jerusalem and pretty soon you're going to see that wall. That's the one that separates the Arab villages from the territories. That's the big uh, controversial one that you hear in the, uh, the news all the time and here it comes really close and we're going to be passing it. And this is that wall and this is the one that wraps around the country for miles. And here's that wall and all signs um, about lots of, I'm not sure. Anyway, so we're going through an Arab village and you'll see some of the, uh, the buildings. And I'm going to stop this and then continue. And um, there's signs. This is uh, actually a refugee camp. It's really interesting, but I don't have much tape. So I'm going to stop it and then I'll start again. Oh, anyway, hold on. Here's the checkpoint. Um, that's one of the towers of the checkpoints. And we're going to go through the wall and onto the side of Israel. And here we go. And here's the other side of the wall. And there we go. Okay? And here's the checkpoint. And this is where we go through to go in and out of the territories. Now we're leaving the territories into Israel. And there goes the wall. And that's it. I'll check back in. Signing off. There's a sign going into uh, Jerusalem. Tel Aviv is this way, and the center of town, and Jerusalem itself. That's the um, translation for the sign you see ahead of us. And the bus is now moving, and we're on our way into Jerusalem. Okay, just bits and pieces signing off. Bye. right behind me. It's brand new. It looks like the bullet train in um, Japan. Anyway, we're going inside the central bus station because there's lots of really neat surprises and it's like a big shook of the Middle East. Okay, hit the off button. Yeah. Okay, here we are waiting at the, um, the train station. It's a new station in Jerusalem. And over here is the times that you can see on the platform. Read out. Everybody is just waiting for the, um, the bus. I mean the train. Just check it out. Lots and lots of people. It's a sunny, beautiful day. It's October 23rd, 2011. Just sharing what's happening. People walking. People talking. Waiting. It's a Sunday afternoon. Signing out. Getting on and off these new trains is a mess. Everybody pushes, shoves. Whoever comes first gets on, who doesn't just stays off. 
and just showing you how packed this thing is. It's free right now because it's a new train. And here, this one is going the opposite direction that we're going in. Here's the track going one way. And here's the track going another way. And it is just a mob of people. We missed the bus. I mean, the train, because we couldn't get on, even with the stroller in hand, nobody would let us on. It was whoever pushed first got on. Whoever didn't push and just stayed back. I'm gonna get on, here comes the bus. I mean, the train. And um, I'm going to film us getting on this thing. It's going to be wild. Here comes the train in the middle of the central of uh, central part of Jerusalem. Okay, here we go. You can hear it. I'm going to film us getting on this bus. I mean the train. Here we go. Here it comes. Check out all the people. It's going to be wild. Oh, gosh. Where are we going, Hila? Okay, here we go. We're going in after everybody pushes their way. Strollers, babies, people, all denominations. Here we go, we're inside, we made it. Oh my gosh, hold on. Okay, we're on. Now I'm just gonna shut off. Okay, we're getting close to the, um, to the wall. Just checking out some of the buildings that are, are surrounding. A lot of people traveling and going through tours. But we're just soloing it by ourselves. And we're gonna change our direction. Not sure where we're going, but this is the way. Okay, here we are on Yafo Street, central Jerusalem. And again, there's the trains who are coming straight who are coming straight down the uh, the city streets. Here comes one right now. And um, just want to share it with you. Here it comes. Lots of people. Middle of the day on a Sunday. Here we go. This is the newest train in Jerusalem taking all the passengers. And you can see it's absolutely packed. People, strollers, children. It just doesn't stop. On and on and on. And there we go. And here's uh, what I'm walking through. Lots of people. Doesn't anybody ever work? Well, anyway, they're all having a good time, just like me. Signing off. Okay, we're in the um, the central market, and um, it's wild. Everybody's going crazy, haggling for prices. Lots and lots of people. Lots and lots of action around here. You can find some wonderful, delicious, fresh grown produce. Look how huge the vegetables are. And they taste really good. And then here we go. Here's some wonderful um, nuts of all sorts. It just goes on and on. Oh my gosh, fresh, delicious. Straight from the trees of Israel. And now the olives. And here's another little corner. We've got olives of all sorts. Visit, and it goes on and on and on and on. The crowd is getting thicker and thicker. Signing off again. Snippets of this and that at the Central Market of Jerusalem. Okay, I just had to do a really quick pitch here. Check out all the Israeli soldiers on foot, probably going home. I don't know where they're going, but they're going. Oh, there it's a, um, how do you say Erev Chag in English? It's the, um, well, anyway, here they are. They're all going into the bus station. Check it out, just sharing. Bye. Okay, check it out. This is the old city into Jerusalem, the Jaffa Gate, and it is just miles of little shooks and little trinkets and everything around. It's really, really cool. Check it out. It just doesn't stop. We've got tourists. Wish I could take you with me. The smells, the hypnotic uh, chants that we hear all next to us. So cool. So cool. And here it's going upwards and downwards. And that's it. We're on the way to the uh, Western Wall. Okay, here we are going into the, what is this called, Jerry? Jaffa Gate in the Old City. Okay, you want to tell them where, yeah, Jaffa Gate in the Old City. So this is one of the gates into and where the Holy City is. Yeah, it's an open market, which is full of spices and all this cool stuff, as you can see. And here's Sherry. You're going to see yourself on Facebook. <laughs> that's it.
so it's pretty cool. And you can hear all the music and all the stuff going on. I'll be taking more pictures. Just want to give you another little snippet. Okay, we're going into the Christian Quarter. This is where we turn. As you can see, that's what it says on the sign, and then we're making the turn. And this is the Christian side, and so, I'm not sure what we're going to see, but lots more of that same lovely um, kiosk bazaar things. Cool, isn't it? Check it out, check it out. Just constant selling and selling. So cool. Okay, we're still in the Christian Quarter, and they're selling all the beautiful things for my beautiful Christian friends to see. Gorgeous stuff that they're selling, and um, rosary beads, and all this really neat stuff. Check it out. Just want to show you. Gorgeous stuff. And this is the Christian Quarter, and it goes on and on. We're still traveling in it. Okay. Here we are in an Armenian shop, and here it says it above us. Armenian pottery. And look at this beautiful, beautiful shop. And the gentleman is um, at work. And so I guess we must be in the Armenian quarter. We're just roaming around and seeing all the beautiful items and things. Just another taste of Israel. Okay, we're stuck in a little corner. It's starting to rain, and there is a suspicious object here at the uh, quarter. And so now an Israeli vehicle is coming to check out what all the commotion is about. They blocked off one of the passages we were going down. So we had to turn around, and now it's raining really hard. And what else? Let's see. Okay, well, here comes this um, police vehicle, or it might be an army vehicle, actually, coming down the, um, By the, time he gets down to the, the old city quarters. And my lovely girlfriend Sherry said, by the time he gets down there, it'll explode, but God forbid it is, of course. But I would have to wait for it. Oh, yes, of course. And so here it comes. We're going to check out what's going on. So it's just one of those, uh, it's the police. No, he's not used to that. So. And that's the, the happenings of uh, just another typical day. Here we are at the Western Wall. Behind me is the, the, the mosque and the, the 3000 year old wall, the Western Wall. And Sherry and I are going to go down and uh, see what's happening. Just want to share this with you. And if you want to pan around a little, Sherry, and show what, uh, what it's all about. So I can, I can actually say you're looking at the oldest things in the world behind me, the oldest structures in the entire world, which are right behind me, 3,000 plus years old. And it's just an amazing odyssey of, of the living Bible, all denominations, and it's thrilling to be here. Okay, now we're descending to where I just showed you, and this is the wall, the famous western wall, where everybody's congregating and praying and feeling whatever their personal uh, ideology is. And then just wrapping around. This is the whole part of where everybody takes their tour to Israel. Everybody ends up here in Jerusalem. And this is the wall. And that, those spots on the wall, that's actually um, like wild grass growing out of the wall. Um, I guess, what is this, the third temple on um, history level, Sherry? This is the third temple, I think, uh, what's left from the destruction of the Babylonians, if I'm not mistaken, and please correct me if I'm wrong. And underneath that wall is a whole tunnel of the extension of a wall that they just, they discovered a few years ago with just amazing ancient artifacts to, um, to suggest that this is just so um, so real and so uh, so beyond imagining what we have above us, which is God. And here, sweep once again. And this is the a uh, synagogue. And I'm going into the sun, so I'm not sure how it's turning out. But there we go. Don't want to get you dizzy with my panning around. And this is it. And we're gonna head on over there and pray and just have some solace and some meditation. This is no Hollywood movie set. This is the real deal. This is the oldest part of Jerusalem. And there you see in the background the mosque, the famous mosque. And these walls are about 3,000 years old. I'm talking OT people. This is Old Testament. 
there's Mount Scopus and there's a cemetery way in the back and you see all those dots. It's a Jewish cemetery and in the very back behind that um, tower is Arabic village and that's a territory right there. And down at the bottom here is the square and there's parking and everybody coming in and out. But again, to see this in person is just magnificent. Check it out. What a view. And there's the mosque. And behind that bridge is, that's the wall. That's the western wall that we're going to descend down to now. And um, I'm just going to pan around here against the tree. And you can see people in the square. And I'll get closer and I'll hopefully be able to take more photos of that. But this is just a view that is breathtaking in person and I hope it will convey over onto this uh, tape that I'm sharing with you all. Again, this is 3,000 plus years old, the buildings. It blows Europe away in time. Check it out. Okay, now we're moving on to the Western Wall. Okay, here is the wall, the base of the wall, and heading up towards it. The top, this is the men's side and the women's side, which they are separated when they pray, as in the old Orthodox tradition. And again, here's the wall. Talking OT people, Old Testament. Check it out. Awesome, isn't it? Okay, now we're going to head down. Okay, this is Tal and I. We're walking in Jerusalem. I can't believe I'm here with my daughter. Hi. Say something, Tal. We're, Jerusalem is beautiful and we're enjoying it. Being with the family. It's amazing. You want to leave? It is. Okay, now we're going to cross this crazy street with everybody else. You can see all the traffic behind us, in front of us, and wherever we go. So, this is a handheld, so I don't know how it's going to turn out. It'll be but we're fine. crossing the street. Drama queen. Right, and in front of us is Hila and Safta Rosa. And right back to us, and uh, we got a lot of shopping to do, so we'll check you guys out later. Bye. Okay, here we are in some kind of square in Jerusalem. There's lots of stuff going on. And um, this is what? It's called the Midrachov, which means the, uh, I guess, the boardwalk. And this is in uh, Mid Midtown Jerusalem. I'm just doing a 160. I mean, sorry, a 380. And here we have the beautiful Judean desert right in front of us. And this is the, um, the view from my daughter Hila's balcony. We're looking east and then if you look at the, uh, the landscaping, that's the Arabic village just, um, and there's the valley below. That's a quarry where they're uh, digging and uh, taking out the earth to make cement for their buildings. And I'm panning over. This is going westward, past there. Actually, it's east, and that's the Jordan Valley to Jordan. And now I'm panning north, and then that way would be Lebanon. And it's really hard to see because it's sunny in my eyes. And these are the buildings that are the neighborhood buildings where my daughter lives. And uh, that's a balcony. And then back over, again, there's the village. Love.